Wi-Fi really should just be called Y. Just plain old Y. So, in an effort to fix this, I have done you a favor and saved you the hassle of trying to figure it out. I've taken a few of my hard-earned dollars, gone to MrAmazon.com and purchased the new Eero 6E Pro. They make many versions of this, so do not just go to Amazon and type Eero and then buy the cheap one that comes up because that's not going to be the Pro and it's not going to be the 6E Pro. 6 is old Wi-Fi, which was better than 5. 6E is even better than 6. I sure am glad they didn't make a Plus or a Pro or a Max or a Pro Max or a Plus Pro Max because that would have just been silly. This is supposed to be the next evolution of Wi-Fi. 2.3 gigabits per second speeds through the house because we all need that kind of speed. And actually, some of us do. I have a network storage device in my studio. And so I can transfer more than a regular Wi-Fi will let me because it can handle it. I also have a very fast internet connection at home and at work. So when you've got gigabit speeds coming in and out, you need gigabit speeds on your Wi-Fi. But if you don't, maybe you'll be okay with something a little bit less than this. Also, if you have a very big home or you want to stretch your Wi-Fi over a large area, maybe you've got a shed out back or a garage that's a man cave, something like this comes with multiple satellites and they all magically connect, or so they say, to do the dirty work for you. So let's have a look in the box and see what these bad boys look like because the ones I've got right now are pretty big. It's a Netgear Orbi system. And here's a picture of them. Out comes number one, little white brick. It's about six inches by six inches, feels pretty light and heavy at the same time. I know that sounds strange, just trust me on it. Two ethernet jacks and a USB-C. I'm gonna guess the USB-C is for power. So ethernet's probably in and out. I don't know, I haven't played with it yet. Number two is identical. And so I'm gonna guess that number three, <gasps> is identical. Yes, you guessed it. A, B, C, and they all look the same. No shuffling the queen around the board here. It's not gonna make any difference. I have a box. I have a card that says, you're just a few steps away from seamless Wi-Fi. Really? We are gonna find out if it is seamless or not, and I'm gonna tell you about it when I get back in a little while. So, Eero Pro 6. I have had it set up and been goofing off for a couple days on this Wi-Fi. And look, there's only so much we can really get excited about when it comes to Wi-Fi. The only real question is, does it work? Is it fast? And does it drop? Yes, it works. Yes, it's fast. No, it doesn't drop. However, there are some quirks. When you set it up, you gotta use their app. You gotta give it a bunch of permissions. They give you 30 days of their free security, and if you want it beyond that, you're gonna to have to subscribe. That's gonna give you features like blocking certain websites, blocking certain content, and all that fun stuff. Now, that, that isn't a bad thing, folks, okay? So don't think I'm just hating on Amazon and Eero here. Amazon owns Eero, just so you know. Here's my problem. In the good old days, I used to be able to go in and put content filters on without having to pay a subscription. I could just go in and it was a setting. And now I gotta pay for it like it's some kind of, you know, super duper deluxe, hey, we just created something awesome. No, you didn't. It was already there. Now you're just charging me for it because you made a pretty app for my phone. Take the app away. Let me just log into a browser. I don't care. And stop making me pay for everything. All right, enough said, let's move on. This is a 6E setup. My current setup is a Netgear Orbi system, which is Wi-Fi 6. Here's where it gets interesting. I've got some very latest and greatest devices. We've got MacBook Pros, Mac Studio, Windows, Galaxy Book Pro. Like we're always testing the latest and greatest. So 6E is a good thing for me. In the house, when I run speed tests, is this quick? Yes. Is it awesome? No. I've got a one gigabit line coming into the house. So my home studio where I do a lot of the filming here um, as well as at the office, we use a gig there, but obviously it's an enterprise grade Wi-Fi, so it's a little bit different and I couldn't set this up at the office. I've got a gig coming in. On Cat6, I pull 950, 960 all day long. On this Wi-Fi, the best I could get, no matter where I was in the house, was maybe 400. And to get that, I had to be standing literally on the other side of the door 
where this was plugged in. I don't think a 500 meg drop in speed is that great for the latest and greatest $700 setup of Wi-Fi. Yes, I know you're gonna lose a bit of signal in Wi-Fi, I understand that. I still think it should be better. So I'm a little disappointed. Where it gets more interesting for me is comparing this to my old Orbi system, which is Wi-Fi 6, and I've had it about a year and a half, so just to give you some kind of perspective on how fast the tech is moving or isn't, it wasn't a noticeable difference in speeds. Now, it, your mileage is gonna vary. It depends on your walls, how many doors you're going through, are you upstairs down, what's your floor made of? Like Construction materials are gonna affect things. But I genuinely thought going from 6 to 6E, with the wider bandwidth channels of the frequencies that it gains, I was expecting to see a bit of a jump. You know, maybe an extra 100 or an extra 200 megabits per second flowing through the house, and it, it wasn't there. So what am I saying? If you've got an old setup, you know, maybe three, four, five years old Wi-Fi, and you're looking at this, and obviously if you don't need the big setup with the three devices, and you can go with the two if you've got a smaller home, this is like 6,000 square feet, you know, 7,000 square feet, somewhere in that range. One, one pod is good for about 2,000 feet-ish. So if you need to upgrade, you'll be very happy with this. But if you've got something that's already pretty decent, and maybe only a year or two old, going to the 6E, I don't think you're gonna see a whole lot of change. If you just hate your interface and you want a, a nicer app, this is definitely easier to use and set up on the phone app than the Orbi, which has the most horrible software known to mankind. And I don't know how Netgear get away with it, but whoever's using it is not a human being with a normal mind, at least in my opinion. Maybe they're an Uber geek or an Uber tech. These guys are a little bit simpler. Where the Eero does win, and what's really cool about it is if you are in Amazon's ecosystem, you're gonna love it because it plays super nice with Alexa, it plays super nice with their Echo devices, it gives you the Amazon little Zigbee whatever, you know, sidewalk home kit equivalent that they've got. So in that respect, you could do an Eero with the Ring doorbell and your Alexa devices, your Echo shows, whatever, and they would all play super nice together because Amazon's made sure it works best for that, just like the Google Nest Wi-Fi and you know the Google Nest hubs, the little displays and everything, they work really seamlessly. And so we're back to that same problem, aren't we, peeps? I keep talking about it and it keeps rearing its little head. Everybody wants you in their ecosystem. Everybody wants you to buy all their devices. And I get it, I understand it, but please, big tech, we like choices. And also we can't just change everything because we bought a new Wi-Fi system. If I've got Google hubs everywhere, I wanna still be able to use them. And I can, you know, but I always know in the back of my mind, it's a little bit nicer if I get the Amazon stuff. And that's where we're at in the 21st century, right? Shop, 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 bye, bye, bye. Ask me your questions. Let me know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. Till next time, just go out there and be amazing. If you want to be really amazing, hit that subscribe button. Do it now, I dare you.